First, they called President Obama revolutionary. Then, they said he was a socialist. Now, there's a new word to describe his presidency and the direction this country is going. Orwell, Ian, t t or today marks the 60th anniversary of the death of George Orwell, author of 1984, An Animal Farm. Did Orwell predict the future of the United States? We have Alex Jones on the radio. Who thinks that George Orwell had it right? Tell me what you're thinking now. What does it mean if a country is Orwell, Ian? Well, this is an Orwellian nation, and, and, and much of the planet is under a Orwellian system. Obama puts forward the two biggest defense budgets in U.S. history. He starts smart bombing uh, with predator drones, Pakistan. They go into Yemen. Uh, he expands the Patriot Act. He expands rendition, secret arrest, torture. He lied about everything he said he would do, and now he says he never said it, and he's given the peace prize when he's clearly a warmonger. We have naked body scanners going in in courthouses, in airports that record your naked body of your wife, your children, yourself. It's, it's kept in biometric uh, databases. Uh, we have the children in the United States and the Boy Scouts of America being taken over by Homeland Security uh, and by major police departments to, quote, report on their parents. Where I live in Austin, Texas, they run TV ads telling public school children to report on their family members and get bonus money. I mean, that's right out of The Running Man, that Schwarzenegger movie that was kind of a dystopic Orwellian film. Down the line, we have Obama promising to stop the wiretapping. Now he says unlimited wiretapping. We have Google that helped a China censor, now censoring here uh, inside the United States. So on every single front, right down the line, it is more Orwellian than even Orwell would have thought. Two years ago, Google announced they're going to use the onboard microphones and cameras on all the new laptops and computers to let computers listen to you and watch what's happening in your house live time uh, to uh, create psychological profiles uh, on what you're doing. And so we are living more and more in a 1984 Orwellian state where war is peace, torture is good, where media manipulation is good, uh, where politicians say one thing one day, another thing the next, where Obama says he wants peace uh, with countries like Russia, but then always goes back on the promises he's made, uh, where Georgia attacks a Russian-held uh, enclave, and then our media, CNN, says that Russia attacked. I mean, the good news is, though, in 1984, you didn't have an informed population, an armed population, and they would have gotten away with these type of hoaxes. Uh, now... Uh, they're trying Orwellian systems, but it's blowing up in their face. They tried the swine flu uh, fraud. That hoax is now exposed, even mainstream news, as a complete fraud and dangerous vaccine. So it's very Orwellian, except for one respect. The people are free. They're waking up. They're saying no to the fake neocon Republicans and the corporate uh, prostitutes like Barack Obama. So freedom is on the march, and Big Brother is in trouble. But yes, Big Brother is engaging in all of his uh, usual scams. Real quick, Alec, let's talk about um, Animal Farm. Orwell wrote, uh, George Orwell wrote this book to criticize Stalin and his betrayal of the Russian Revolution. Do you see any comparison here between Stalin's Russia and Obama's United States? Absolutely. You have Tim Geithner, head of the Treasury, giving himself massive money in bonuses and then illegally telling AIG to keep it secret. Uh, you have a, you know, basically two legs good, uh, four legs bad, when originally four legs good, two legs bad. So uh, it, is, it is right out of Animal Farm. All right, Alex Jones, thanks so much for joining us on this 60th anniversary of George Orwell's death.